Zimbabwe Dreams, the National Sports Stadium, and we are here for a grand occasion, a worthy cause, helping or joining in the celebrations of uh, His Excellency President Robert Gabriel Mugabe following that landslide election victory last year. And uh, some of you might be wondering, uh, uh, how did we choose Dynamos and Highlanders to compete in this uh, cup final? Well, as the organizing committee, I can tell you, we looked at how the 2013 season had ended. Dynamos finished as number one, Highlanders finished as number two. That was 2013, and there it was. It was simple. So, we opted for Dynamos and Highlanders. But, what uh, can we look forward to in the second half? Uh, let's find out from Stanza. Let me ask him from a Highlanders perspective. Why not Dynamos, <laughs> All right, okay, okay. From a, dyma, for a, from a, from a Dynamos perspective, that's what he want. From a Dynamos perspective. <laughs> Obviously, from, from the Dynamo side, uh, they've, they've really done well. Um, I think in the first half, they cre they've created um, clear-cut chances, like what uh, uh, Alois has said. And uh, they've, they've, clear uh, they've clearly dominated the midfield. So I don't think um, uh, the coach will come back with, uh, with other plans. Perhaps uh, you just come back as they are, and then probably play for, for some few minutes and look to, to, to make some changes to those players who are not effective. But is, is at the moment, I think I think they've done well. They, that's what you want your team to do. You want them to create to create chances, and then the rest you will, will you leave them for the strikers to do the job. So so far so good for Dynamos, and I hope they will keep on doing that. Demo strength is is at the back. They keep a clean sheet, and then they you know they will score. So if they continue to keep a clean sheet and uh, and hope that their strikers will get a goal, one or two goals. You, you have seen that. I, I've quite, quite been impressed by the, by, by the um, Congolese guy. Um, he, yes, Fabrice, Fabrice Mbimba. yeah, Fabrice Mbimba. Um, after a very long time, um, he, was, he was out, not playing, but he has come in and he has done, you know, and with some bit of luck, he could have scored. So I think, I think they will just come back like that and perhaps uh, keep on knocking on the Islanders' door and perhaps they'll get a goal. That's the Dynamo's perspective. Let's find out. We will give uh, Alois Bunjira crisscross uh, the head of uh, Mark Mate so that he can tell us uh, about the second half from a Highlanders Iboso Iboso perspective. Yeah, just I think uh, Highlanders, they were content with absorbing pressure from Dynamo's. They didn't really look like they were looking for a goal. To start with, they were playing with only Simba Stole up front and when they, he gets the ball, there was not immediate support for him. They preferred to sit back. And I think, like you said, they've always gone into the second half, first half, into the second half trailing. Mm -hmm. So now, from maybe they are comfortable with the 0-0 zero zero at the moment. Mm -hmm. I want to see them attacking now. You see, the, the goalkeeper, the Dynamo's, the Islanders goalkeeper, he has done well. He is he, he kept a clean shot. <coughs> but when he gets the ball, when he makes a save, what I have, what I didn't see him doing, the playing defenders were quickly breaking out instead of attacking Dynamo's quickly because they would have attacked. Mm -hmm. You absorb the pressure and hold on to the ball and wait for Dynamos to regain, to go to, 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 to compose themselves again. And then he plays the ball and mm. they lose the ball, they come back. I want to see him, the left back, the left back is doing very well, we're talking that, about that's it. Bruce yeah, Kangwa. Bruce Kangwa. He's doing very well. As soon as the keeper gets the ball, he's opening up wide. Instead of the goalkeeper gives, gives him the ball, he is not. He is hanging on to the, to, to the ball for too long. And I think now maybe it's because they wanted the 0-0. Zero zero. So let's see what they do. I want them to move forward yeah. now quicker and attack dynamos and i think Mate should also employ another striker or just the midfielder that comes very fast or plays close to simba Stoller so that at least they've got more options in the box when the crosses come in or when the midfielders are coming with the ball because right now they need to win unless they're playing for uh, for zero zero and go to the penalty shooters like <laughs> i want i don't know <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's hope uh, uh, let's let's find out what, what will happen uh, but just uh, uh, from a point of the goalkeeper that uh, uh, chris cross was talking about uh, uh, it brings uh, to me and i'm sure to chris cross and stanza shades of the great one the great Javed Muparuta. he would start an attack for black rhinos or zimbabwe just by grabbing the ball and quickly releasing it yes. and this is what i think alois bunjira uh, was talking about uh, right uh, i want to put these two experts here into the deep end uh, and find out their focus and see what you think about them i'll start uh, of course with stanza stanza scoreline result uh. <laughs> Typical, but, I think <laughs> but as always, I think Dynamos <laughs> will, will win it and uh, uh, probably the second half they will come, right? And uh, uh, score two goals. So I think 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil to Dynamos. Two without a reply? Without a reply. I, I don't think Highlanders will, will score. 
if they continue doing what they were doing in the first half, I don't see them uh, scoring any goal. So uh, Dynamo have uh, had some, uh, yeah, had some chances and they could score. All right, quickly, Zola, you score line. Yeah, I think uh, what I said was uh, my own opinion, but I don't know if Mata is going to employ that. If they don't, if they play like they played in the second half, Dynamo's will win it. Okay. One yeah. nil, two nil, two one, two nil. To okay, so both experts are tipping Dynamo's to win it by two goals to nil. What do you say? Well, don't worry. Remember, if it goes uh, after 90 minutes like this, penalty shootout, uh, we'll have to wait and find out. Uh, let's rejoin Stanley Katsande and Spencer Yamazawa. Welcome back.